Here at The Baby Cubby, we understand how difficult it can be to narrow down to the perfect stroller for your lifestyle. Now here in store, we can do it fairly easy and we pride ourselves in helping parents find that perfect stroller for them. But that's kind of hard if you can't make it into a nice store that has different strollers to, um, to compare and to learn about. So in this video, we kind of want to give you a basic knowledge of different strollers and different options that you have, as well as how to narrow down to the perfect stroller for your lifestyle and your child. Okay, so to start off, you have what's called like a full-size stroller. Now this can be either a single or a double. This one is actually a double, as you can see. It's a side-by-side, -side, and that's very typical for a full-size stroller is to be side-by-side. -side. You can get some tandem. And basically what that means is your seat is gonna be static. It's not gonna move around. It's um, compatible for babies up until toddler and even little kid. Okay, then we get into jogging strollers. Now, I do need to give you a disclaimer. So it is not recommended to jog with an infant until they're at least six months old. Now, I would actually wait until they're a little bit older to make sure that their um, spine and neck are mature enough to withstand the motion of jogging. That's a lot of movement up and down as um, the stroller is moving over the pavement. So you really wanna be cautious when jogging with your baby. Now, what makes a jogging stroller is three major components. So first, it'll have air-filled tires. And what that's gonna do is absorb that energy um, in the, like while you're jogging, as well as suspension. Now, the suspension you can see just by pushing it down. And again, that's gonna absorb some of that energy so that your child is not feeling it as much and also to make it easier for you to push. And then you're also going to have you're gonna have three wheels, and then the front wheel will lock into place. And what that does um, is make it so you're exerting less energy to try to keep your stroller going straight. So it's just gonna naturally go straight so that you don't have to move it as much so you can focus on jogging. Now, jogging strollers are excellent if you're an avid jogger or if the only opportunity that you have to jog is when you're with your child. Now, the downfall is typically they're going to have a bigger fold and they're going to be heavier because they have those awesome energy absorbing features. Okay, next we get into what's called a modular stroller. And basically what that means is all the pieces are separate. So you're going to have a frame, you're going to have a seat, a bassinet that you can click in, or even a car seat. But the nice perk about that is that you can take the seat, turn it around, and then your child is facing you while they're nice and little. Now that feature may not be super important as your child gets older, or if you're starting to use a stroller when your child is older, because then they start to want to see more of the world and less of parent. But I love that feature when your baby is really small. It also has a nice sleek design, and then you can configure it the way you want to without having an actual seat like you would with a full-size stroller. Now the last category we want to show you is travel and umbrella strollers. Now these ones are typically very small, lightweight, they're great to just throw in your trunk for small trips or even just traveling. They're easy to fit in a car or even on a plane. Now some strollers are even approved to be a carry-on on the airplane, which is really nice because you can take it on the plane with you and you don't have to entrust your stroller to the oh-so-gentle handlers at the airport. And some of you parents know exactly what I'm talking about. So the downfall of having these strollers is, as you can see, to get that lightweight, compact um, feature of these strollers, it typically has smaller wheels. And that's not going to be um, really maneuverable for everyday life. But then also they lack a lot of these nice features that you'll get in some of the other strollers. So it may not be as convenient, but they do have that nice small fold, which for your lifestyle could be the most important thing. Now, a lot of parents choose to have multiple strollers with a travel stroller as well. They'll keep this one just for during travel, but then when they have their long um, long walks or amusement parks, they can use their nicer stroller with all those great features. Now, if you wanna know what each of these strollers is, then reference the description box below and you can shop all of those online. If you have more questions, feel free to comment below or leave us an email at hello at babycubby.com. We'd be more than happy to answer specific questions on the strollers or even help you find the right stroller for your family.
So to narrow down from with all of these options to the perfect stroller for you, we have some questions that we re recommend you asking yourself. The first one being, what's your lifestyle? Where are you going to be using your stroller the most? Now the first lifestyle is maybe a city dweller. So one, a couple of strollers that we'd recommend is probably a modular stroller or even a full size stroller, depending on the features that it has. The reason for that is like, say you're going shopping a lot and you need a lot of basket space. You're typically gonna have a bigger basket on like a modular stroller, but then also you have a lot of those nice features that make it convenient to um, go through the city. You also wanna consider that if you drive a car, you're gonna need to fold that up and put it in your trunk often. You wanna make sure that the maneuverability is good. If you go to the mall, um, you wanna be able to get it in and out of shopping cart or clothes racks. So you don't want anything that's really long or really wide to make sure that you can get through that um, clothes racks or even crowds very easily. So those are some things to consider for city dwellers. Now the next lifestyle to consider is maybe you're a little bit outdoorsy. You like to go camping, jogging, hiking. That's where we'd recommend like a jogging stroller. This could even include just any uneven or rocky terrain. It could be an uneven sidewalk, even if you live in a suburban area. So those are a lot of things to consider. Now, one thing that we recommend doing when you're narrowing down the process of choosing a stroller is actually as you go through your daily life, just kind of consider when would I use a stroller? If you're going to the grocery store, if you're taking a walk to a park, or all of those activities that you wanna do with your baby, and then consider the terrain. If it's pretty flat, you could go with the city dwellers or um, like a modular or a full-size stroller. But if you're noticing uneven terrain, strongly recommend considering a jogging stroller. Now the last lifestyle to consider is, do you travel at least often enough to warrant having a travel or lightweight stroller? Now I can only imagine how difficult it would be to take a jogging stroller on and off a plane. Not fun at all. So I'd really recommend you getting a travel stroller or even an umbrella stroller. So it has that nice compact fold and it's really lightweight. That's gonna make it easy to get in and out of a car or on and off a plane. So we do really recommend if you're traveling often to consider those features. Another question to ask yourself is, do I wanna use my stroller with my infant car seat as a travel system? Now, a travel system is where you can easily take your infant seat and click it into your stroller. And this way you don't have to disrupt your baby, especially while they're sleeping, which is really nice and handy. Now, I do need to mention, it's not ideal to keep your baby in an infant car seat for long periods of time, just because we wanna keep those airways nice and open. So you wanna keep them laying flat as much as possible, but it's nice for easy trips to the store. Now, what that would look like on a lot of strollers, well, at least on the modular, <clears throat> you would take off the seat and click in your stroller. So now you have a travel system. So you just take it in and out of the car just like that. Now, other strollers that work with infant car seats. So most, um, most strollers or many strollers are going to at least accept their own brand car seat, just like this one here. But there are a lot of strollers on the market that are compatible with other brands with additional um, adapters. And so that's really nice. You just have to make sure that the car seat that you want is compatible with the stroller you want. If you have questions about that, please let us know and we can help guide you to the ones that are compatible with each other. Now, lightweight strollers and umbrella strollers typically are not compatible with any infant car seat. So that's something to consider um, if you travel free frequently. Now, joggers, you can typically find some that do. Not all joggers are gonna be able to accept an infant um, car seat. Now, just a reminder, you can't jog with your child, even if you're using an infant car seat until they're older and have a more developed spine. Now, full-size strollers, many full-size strollers on the market are gonna accept their own brand um, and even other brands, like I said, with additional adapters. Now, the last question to ask yourself is, are you planning on growing your family in the near future? And that's probably within about three to four years. If you're planning on having two children in the stroller at the same time, I know it seems like it's a little early to be considering a second child when you're just having your first, but it could save you money in the long run. Now, the reason for that is a lot of modular strollers, you can actually attach a second seat without having to buy a whole new stroller. So when you have your second child, you just purchase a second seat and you can click it on <clears throat> 
just like that. Now you have a double stroller. Now it typically will be more expensive in the beginning, but in the long run, it's gonna save you a lot of money. And then you can keep the stroller that you love long-term. Now, maneuverability and how easy is your stroller to push now that's a really important thing you don't want to be pushing your stroller and being really frustrated that it's not easy now the biggest contributing factor to an easily maneuverable stroller is the wheels now the larger and the more tread on those wheels the easier it is to maneuver and that's what you're going to see on a jogging stroller especially air-filled tires. You're not gonna feel the terrain quite as much. Now, a step down from that is going to be like an all-terrain wheel like this. These are actually foam-filled, so you don't have to fill them up with air, which is nice, but it's not gonna have as much um, energy absorption that a jogging stroller is going to have. Then you get into like a rubber foam-filled tire like on here. Now it's not going to absorb as much energy, but it's still pretty nice. And depending on how large the wheels are, you may not feel the terrain quite as much. And then lastly, you're gonna have harder plastic wheels like you do on the lightweight or umbrella strollers. And those ones, you're gonna feel every rock and bump that's on the road. So those are some things that you consider when shopping for your stroller. Check out the wheels, see how big they are, see if there's tread on them. We strongly recommend testing your stroller when you're in the store. Now here in store at the Baby Cubby, we actually have a stroller track. So we have some cobblestone, we have grass so that you can see how well the stroller maneuvers over different terrain. And really you can feel the difference of different wheels. Okay, another feature to consider is the brake. Now there's two main types of brakes, a hand brake or a foot brake. So on this one, as you can see, it's a foot brake and you're gonna push it down and then you're gonna flip it up. Now, it's a jogging stroller. I don't mind that you have to do that because you're probably wearing tennis shoes, but something to consider for everyday life, if you're wearing sandals and you have to flip up that brake with your sandals, it kind of hurts your toes. And that's where the handbrake comes in. On this one, to break it, you're just gonna flip it up and then to release, you flip it down. So I really do um, like a handbrake for that reason. I actually wear sandals quite often. There are some foot brakes that are nice. They're a tap on, tap off. Another great feature to consider is an adjustable handlebar. Now this is especially important if the parents are differing heights. Now there's two different types of adjustable handlebars. There's telescoping, which pulls out like a telescope. And then there's pivoting which you'll push on both sides and it'll go up and down. Now, me personally, I like a telescoping handlebar. And the reason for that is the higher it gets, then the further from the stroller it gets. And what that does is give you more kick room, especially if you're tall. Now, you do get that a little bit with the pivoting, but there comes a point where the highest and furthest point is right here. But then as you get higher, it's actually getting closer to the stroller and that's taking away some of the kick room. So you definitely want to test drive strollers with both parents to make sure that the height is at a comfortable height for both of you. Now on lightweight and umbrella strollers, now I've mentioned before you don't have a lot of features on those strollers and typically an adjustable handlebar is one of them just because it adds to the weight and the bulkiness of the stroller. So you're most likely not gonna get that feature on those strollers. Now the last feature you wanna look for actually depends on the age of the child that you're planning on using the stroller with. Now, some people don't know that most strollers, you cannot put an infant directly in the stroller. You'll have to use an infant car seat. So the feature that you're actually looking for is a lay flat recline. Now, like here on the Bumble Ride, you have a nice lay flat recline. This goes a little bit lower. <clears throat> But then you also have this footrest that snaps into a makeshift bassinet. And the reason for that is you need to keep infants laying flat as much as possible. So you need a really deep recline. Now over here, you do have a nice deep recline, but you, it's actually not recommended to put an infant in here until they're about three to six months. So you would need to get an additional um, adapters to put in your car seat so that it's appropriate for an infant. If you're planning on using your stroller with a child that's a little bit older, then you really don't even need to consider that feature. Okay, and the last feature that could be a deal breaker is actually the fold. So you wanna play with the fold, see how well it folds, and the most important thing is that it's going to fit in your car or wherever you need it to go. So let me show you how each of these folds. 
This one is actually notorious for being really easy. You'll pull up on these two handlebars, really easy. Now it's not too heavy, but it is pretty wide. So this is one that might not fit in like a compact car trunk. So that one you definitely want to try out. Then with this one, jogging strollers, this one's pretty typical. It's nice, it does have a handlebar. It is a little bit bulky. It would be easy because it has this handle right here, but those tires are really big, so that one you might have a little trouble with in a trunk as well. And then on this one, super easy fold. I love the stand when folded so you don't have to bend over and pick up the stroller. It's actually halfway there so that you can get it in trunk that way. The nice thing about modular strollers, if it doesn't fit, you can pack the pieces separately. So I do really like that. If it's not fitting the way you want it to, you can just take it apart. Now on these lightweight ones, they're gonna win the game every time. Super small, super lightweight. I don't know a car that this isn't gonna fit into. And then with your umbrella. <clears throat> Again, pretty compact, easy fold. Um, it is a little bit long, so it might be tricky getting into a trunk with groceries or if you're storing some um, sporting goods, that sort of thing. So definitely try this one out too. Thank you so much for tuning into our video. We really do enjoy helping parents make these tougher decisions, especially with strollers. There's so many options that you have. Now you can shop for any of these strollers online at babycubby.com where everything ships for free. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and even subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make these helpful videos for you.